Japan announced fresh sanctions against Russia on Friday over its invasion of Ukraine, targeting its military as well as the construction and engineering sectors. Russia was hit with a wave of sanctions after it sent forces into Ukraine in February of last year, but calls have grown from Kyiv and its allies for tougher action against Moscow. The latest embargo by Tokyo follows the Group of Seven summit Japan hosted last week in its city Hiroshima, where the bloc's leaders agreed to so-called starve Russia of G7 technology, industrial equipment and services that support its war machine. Top government spokesperson Hirokazu Matsuno said that the new Japanese sanctions include an asset freeze of Russian individuals and groups, a ban on the export of goods to Russia's military-related organizations and a ban on the export of construction and engineering services to Russia. According to the Japanese government, the asset freeze targets 17 individuals and 78 groups, including high-level military officials, while the 80 organizations hit with export restrictions include the Russian mobile phone operator Megaphone. The United States, Britain and European Union have all announced fresh punishments against Moscow recently as well as commitments to more military aid to Ukraine, including F-16 fighters. Matsuno also condemned plans to deploy Russian tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus. Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko said that Moscow had begun moving nukes to its territory. Matsuno said that this will further escalate the situation. He said, and I quote, as the only country to have suffered atomic bombings during wartime, Japan can never tolerate Russia's threat of nuclear weapons, not to mention their use. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.